What's good, not for the radio? Myself is Posty, Shams yeah, in yeah. the building. Come Time on. for another one. People been asking for this one. Mr. Realer the most, Mr. Hard to Kill Spray in the building. What's going on, sir? M to welcome, the world. Welcome, welcome, bro. Congratulations yes, on the, on the yeah, release man. of your new album, bro. Congrats. Don't leave me out. It weren't me, it's his head. Invisible tears out now. My big Invisible head's in the way. Tears. Mm, mm. All right, so let's talk about that, man. You've got a long history, but let's celebrate the album. Yeah. Some sick collaborations on there. Some people were asking for it earlier. Yeah, um, I can imagine. Ev- you know what I mean? Everyone's happy that it's finally out. Mm. Talk to us about the process of making the album, why it may have took a bit longer than expected as well. All right, well, this project I've been working on since probably around 013, because um, I think that's the last project I put out, Hard to Kill, for Volume 3. That was in all 13 songs. From there, it was like, I need to do an album now, you know. Car. All my mixtapes down to the North Star, Volume 1 and 2, Hard to Kill, Volumes 1 to 3, Really the most, Volume 1 to 3. A lot of the tracks was made off of, you know, like copied beats, American beats and all that. So I was more just doing music and putting it out, if that makes sense. I weren't taking the business side serious. I was more just putting, doing the tracks, putting it out, getting a love, whatever, whatever. And I was still on the road. Mm. But when I came out, I, um, the last time I came out properly, 011, I decided, you know what, this is a gift from God. I bust a big case. I thought, you know what, this must be for a reason. So let me take this a bit more serious. Let me do an album now, innit? So yeah, I started looking around for beats. It started off with that. So I've made bare tracks then and bit by bit, because I wanted to put it out properly. I could have just flung that out on iTunes quickly whatever, whatever, but I thought, nah, I need to do this properly. So I was first hunting for management because I realised, obviously, I need managing, innit? I'm a reckless youth them times. Yeah, can, I, can we stop on that? Is it hard for you? You got a reputation, do you know what I mean? Yeah, you know I got I mean? a reputation that succeeds me, Viz. You know me, you know yeah. I'm a great person. I'm a yeah, lovely guy. Yeah, of course, yes. of course. But, you know, you've got a reputation as well as an artist. You've got yes. a reputation as a bit of a gangster. A little bit of a gangster, yeah. yeah. Um. Is that difficult? Is that difficult when it comes to finding management and, you know, succeeding you within know any industry? I'll be honest with you, bro. It's a gift and a curse, isn't it? Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because on one hand, it's a curse because obviously people just think, they listen to the tracks and they think, right, my man's just talking about shooting people, this, that and the other. So they kind of judge you before they see you, innit? So they think, yeah, this, he's, he's, a, he's a maniac or whatever. He's unapproachable type of thing but when they actually meet me they realise nah he's cool but then on the other hand why it's a gift because you could be walking street and buck like five man and do you get what I'm trying to say they, they was gonna they, you get what I'm saying they was looking to move to you or something like rah you spray don't like you get what I'm saying well, I'll go fa-. do you get what I'm saying so sometimes it works in man's favour do you get what I'm trying to say and sometimes it works against because obviously they know your face and they know you're about this thing they're not gonna be so quick to wanna come and, you see what I'm saying, challenge you or... So sometimes it works, sometimes it don't, but, you know... Okay. All right, all right, all right. So you're looking for management while yeah, so putting this together. Yeah, so I'm looking for management mm. now. and Because um, obviously I realised, yeah, I need managing. It's too much for me. So went to a few people, Bath, my big brother, Sammy, went to Sammy, but I think he just took on G-Money at the time, so they had too much on their hands. <laughs> Then I ended up with um, I Records, Money Mics and Rem and that, yeah? So that was my first kind of solo management because before I was managed by Lisa, as you know, North Star and that. So that was like my first management. And obviously they tried, they tried their hardest. We, we, we done Hard to Kill, we put a Hard to Kill 2. I think we put that out on Grime Daily, Hard to Kill 2. Yeah, exclusively. Yeah, so I was on I Records with... Um, Don Strapsy, Drew Blue, but he likes to be called Don Strapsy now because he knows now. It's all about the old school vibe. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Go back to the old, old Don Strapsy. You know what I'm saying? So I was on there with Don Strapsy. Then we got Snap Capone, my gangster. You know what I'm saying? We had Snap on there. So, but with that, what happened with that is that I think they had too much. Do you get what I'm, And didn't realise they had too much. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But it was always, they tried their hardest... Um, I still talk to Mike's now, Rems, we still, you know, they still wish me good luck and everything like that. But what it was is they didn't realise what they actually had. They had three big artists. Snap looks, if Snap wasn't in prison now, Snap will be doing a lot. Um, you got Spray, like my history is my history without blowing my own trumpet. Um, Don Strapsy, 
Like, my man's sick still. He just took his foot off the pedal and whatever. So anyway, boom. Got out of that um, because whatever, whatever, um, them lot had other things to do in life. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And we just parted ways and then I ended up looking for different management, ended up with Colin and EJ. Probably the best thing I've ever done because they're so, you know, they're so knee deep in the business, in the music business. It allowed me to look at, um, like, look at the music industry different and get a different feel of it, like, just even little things like we was having meetings every week and yeah, coming to the office in Walthamstow. So yeah, like it changed my view of music because it made me know, look, you need things on radio, you know? You need this, you need that, you need that. Like you need people to know you're cool, you know? Cause people think you're crazy, you know what I'm saying? So me and Colin, we've had to sit down, go through all of that to even change my, um, to even change how people look at me. Like for instance, when, um, Dan, who was on the label at, at the time, Meridian Dan, he had a um, promotion for the um, German Whip single and they had like a go-karting thing where all the artists come and Carl was like, you know what, you need to be there, you know? Car, even though it's all, it's a pair of different artists, but I want you to be there around all these different artists for them to see you're cool. But I know most of them anyway, they know I'm Chris, but um, yeah, it was just a good look, but just certain things we've been doing just to change like maybe, I don't know, my char- not my character, because my character's my character, but my image then. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I'm, still, I'm, a, I'm a G still. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go around what I am. But I'm like, how can I say? I'm like a forgiven sinner. I've, I've, that, that's all in the past to me. Like now, I've, I'm an artist. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Really, the most volume one, volume two. Man was out here doing this. It's, the essence is it. You can hear it. Do you get what I'm trying to say? It was going on. No one couldn't talk to North Star back in the day. Everyone, I don't know what everyone's on now or whatever. But back then, streets was on lock and key. You get what I'm trying to say? So everything man was saying, it was essential to the streets. It was relevant. It was essential to the G's car. It was their music, innit? We hadn't heard that music yet for us. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So Can we talk about that a bit, Spray? Because obviously, you know, when you when you came out of Real the Most, yeah. it was one of those sounds that we weren't that used to, especially coming from someone like yourself who actually mm. had... But um, do you know what? See, that's it. That's going to really the most volume one. I'm going even before that. Not guilty with okay, North Star. Okay, not guilty. Right. Volume one, and even not guilty had um. Why has it got to be this way on it? Had my jail last year, the first ever track I made. Get away. Do you get what I'm saying? From the screws, Chris, from yeah. the. Do you get what I'm saying? It was mental. Like this is different music. This is prisoner music. I ain't heard this before, car. The people I I got influence from, if I'll be honest. Like I'm coming from an old old era. You know yeah, this. Yeah. I'm. I was in jail listening to um, Skinny Man. Mm. And then when Skinny Man come out, I realised, raw, you can talk British and yeah, speak, yeah. even though he's coming with these different, different council estate voice or whatever. But I'm like, raw, I can talk. My thing, do you yeah, get what I'm yeah, trying to yeah, say? Yeah. So Skinny Man, back then I used to listen to Mud Fam, um, Morris Delta, Malik, you see what I'm saying? Mike, GLC, do you get what I'm trying to say? Even Mike used to spit. Kind of American, but no, you get what I'm saying? When he heard man come to, you had to fix up that vibe. You get what I'm trying to say? And you understand? That's my guy. But Mike's, you get, that's the kind of people I used to listen to. Do you get what I'm trying to say? They come before me, Freddie Cougar, all these guys. But um, yeah. Take us back to that North Star time, though. Yeah. How, how you guys all met, the impact you made as well. And just take us back to that time. Yeah, when, how did that collective actually yeah, get how did, Yeah. All right, well, me and C. C1 to you, Clint to me, because that's my brother, innit? We go back from, um, we was both incarcerated. We went prison, I was 16. He was 16, we were little kids, thinking we're big men. But anyway, um, we crossed paths in jail. He kind of helped me too, because I was just a little man on bait. I was just always on basic, and he used to come and bring my food, and look, bro, you need to calm down, and rare it, just get out. And So we, we, we got a bond from there, and where he's from Tottenham, and I was from Wolfram store, it's basically next to, next to each other. So when we came out, we just kept the link. And then when it went back jail, went in and out, he went in and out. And anyway, later on down the line, when I realized I want to do music or whatever, I could do music, boom. Done a, um, I remember the first three tracks I done was the getaway. Why has it got to be this way? And bad man from around here. But it's my bridging what took me to studio. Cause I weren't even on, I weren't even on doing music like that. I was just rapping one time, guy who was in the street, street life, that's what we've been living for years and years. But um, me and my big brother was in the streets, me and T. 
driving and I'm rapping to myself. Cause we never had the, the radio was broke or something, so I'm rapping to myself, rapping to myself. And he's like, raw. Who's that? What? Who's lyrics to that? I say, it's mixed mine, blood. Blood, you're sick, you get me? But before that, I was just do that in my cell or keep it to myself. He's like, nah, we need to carry you to go studio. He's brought me to studio, DJ Chris, who used to be on um, Deja back in the day. So he went, laid three tracks with DJ Chris. That was, um, why is it got to be this way? Bad man from around here and the getaway tune. Put that out. Um, then obviously I didn't know. Clint was doing um, the North Star thing with Buckhead, R.I.P. The Dan, you get me? He was doing um, North Star with Buckhead in China. So obviously he's heard that Ross. Spider, cause Spider them time, but obviously, yeah, it's like Spider's doing her music now, right? So he's listening to his phone, me like, yo, blood, what I got, like, your thing sounds weak, like, you wanna come and do this North Star thing with man? So, where well, I went really on music anyway, that's my guy, so, yeah, come, come and do something. So that's how it started, and then from there, it just grew and grew, and we didn't know we was gonna get accepted like that. I remember the first time I saw you on the screens was when I was probably like in college. I saw On The Rise. In college? Yeah. You sure? 100%. So you had already done, 100%. got a job, everything. 100%. Uh, you sure? You the, sure, Posty? I got the ID with No, you sure, Posty? You're definitely No, you're doing me. a lot, you know, you're Posty. Man, no, I'm not on to you. You're, you're my guy. You're my guy, but I can't believe that's what you nah, said. Nah, you know what? You, you, been, when? You, you might have been 24 and I would have when? been 17 or nah, six, nah, 18. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll, it's not that bad. We'll let him get away It's not that bad. It's not that bad. You can see, look, I'm even going to take this off, look. Can you hear what Posty's saying? Cool. All right, Paul. Uh, no, so I might have been like late college or something like that. In mm. college, anyway, I remember I seen On the Rise on TV. Mm. Um, that was like one of my first favorite songs on Channel U. That was a big tune, and it was glossy, boy. Yeah, yeah. It was a big tune. It was like, come on. Yeah, yeah. We had yeah. to come in glossy. That's how it was them times. You could see us go on YouTube. That On the Rise, you see jewels from the gate go. Yeah, you, you was thinking big. From you see her. fly. You see fly shit from the gate. You understand? You see big chains. All of that. All of that. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So solid, no star, all of that hype stuff. You could go back, click all that YouTube, love like this, you see flossy niggas. Do you get what I'm saying? I think like, I think there a lot of people on the street were talking about no star linking up with so solid. Yeah. Like what, why, how did that happen? And why was it important for that to happen at that time? Well, um, C and Mega had a um, tight relationship back then. And obviously Mega was the boss of so solid. So, it just went hand in hand. You get what I'm trying to say? C was with Lisa. Um, you know, we was like one big family at one point. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because we was obviously, they were still in the public eye. So we was getting a lot of love through them, if that makes sense. Because it was like so solid. And then their group, North Star, we became like Lisa's. So we became kind of like an underling. Even a lot of the um, shows, what we got back then was through Lisa. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So it was a good platform for us. Like I even, in, I, we ended up performing in Kazakhstan, <laughs> different mad places, Greece, Magaluf, done a lot still. What well, what was Lisa like as a manager? Yeah, she was cool, man. She's cool. She's a lovely like, what's person. The, what's the qualities of Lisa Mafia as a manager? We know as an artist well, and even as a businesswoman, we know that she's got her hands in different mm. kind of like pies and stuff. But what what is she like as a manager? With Le well, Lisa's very organized, like make sure you're on time. Like, very mummy-like, do you get what I'm trying to say? They just, it was her and C, do you get what I'm trying to say? And C's like a granddad anyway, do you get what I'm trying to say? Bro, bro, bro. He's always got a man at me for Saturday, do you get what I'm saying? So that's our relationship, do you get what I'm trying to say? Even though we're the same age, but young spray, do you get what I'm trying to say? He, blah, blah, blah. So he's thing, they, they're on to man. They're making sure things get done, innit? That's the main thing, so things did get done. But then how, how, did, how did that come to an end? Like, what were, how did that start to phase out? All right, with that, it was a case of, you saw the music we was doing, like the music we was putting out was like On A Rise, um, Love Like This. We do CDs like Not Guilty and that, and we put, push out the hard stuff in it on CDs, but through the screens, we didn't want to come hard because we knew, like at the time, obviously police knew about us or they thought we was in, involved in stuff which we wasn't, but... Um, so we thought, yeah, we can't come hard on the screens because we don't want to get, you know, pushed out. So we thought, yeah, let's do good music. It's like, to us, we felt like we still weren't getting through or they still weren't having it. So it's like, got a bit frustrating. Do you get what I'm trying to say? It got very frustrating at one point. Like, we got an album sitting there waiting to go out, waiting to come out. But um, got to a point where China got pregnant. 
we kind of, um, yeah, we just lost focus for a bit, you know, lost a bit. Like, we got frustrated with the scene, innit? So all of us had that moment where we had to think, you know, like, what are we doing with our life? China had to be a mum. C's took it further. C was doing acting and all that. Now he's got the restaurant in Dubai, show shows. He's a businessman. He made it his way. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, whichever way, we're going to get to that mills, innit? So he's gone that way for them mills there. China's gone into motherhood, which you can't, you can't say nothing about that because we all need a mother that's there for us, innit? So I had to make the choice, like, what am I going to do? Um, continue this music thing or... I ain't going to get a job. I, I, I told, <laughs> Not like that, big up everyone that's waking up and going to work nine to five, but it's not going to happen for me because how I grew up, do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like, the way I grew up, it's not going to happen, so... I just had to continue with music, man. All right, you, it's something you, I like, innit? You stood the test of time, you know what I mean? You've got them mixtape series there, yeah. Hard to Kill, really yeah. the most. Yeah. Um, you've done the freestyles, the link-ups. Bare freestyles. The, um, crazy Fire in the Booth. The Crazy Fire in the Booth. Craziest. The Daily Duppies. The Daily, Daily Duppies. Are they going mad post these, but Daily Duppies. Nah, come on, I'm saving that. Saving yeah, that for on. last. Saving the best for last. What do you... What do you... Obviously, the album's out. Now, I want to talk about the features on the album, but... Like, what do you honestly think about the rap game now? You spoke about some of the old school dons. Mm. As I said, you stood the test of time. Yeah. What's, like, as someone that's been doing it for a long time, mm. what's your honest opinion on the game where right it now. is now? Yeah. <clears throat> well, the game right now is it's wide open. Not even wide open like that. But I'm saying compared to how it was, there's a lot of eyes on the scene. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And you can only be happy about that. As a pioneer, I look at myself as a pioneer to this rude boy thing. Do you get what I'm trying to say? That sort of music. See that dual music, what the youth, them have built as their own thing. I look at myself like a pioneer, not to drill, because I don't do drill, but man started this rude boy thing, innit? Like talking, all of that. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And they've been able to build a sound over that. All you could do is be proud of that. Do you get what I'm trying to say? That's like, um, you know, like obviously man ain't that old, but you know, like KRS1 and all them. Yeah. Do you think they're not proud of, I don't know, a, D, a DMX or a Jay-Z? Or, Sometimes it happens where they're not, though. Yeah, you've got people the, that are bitter. The, yeah. you got, you got the bitter ones, you get me? But that's an emotion that if you allow yourself to feel that, it's going to it's, it's gonna become too overwhelming. Do you get what I'm trying to say? You're better off embracing. Do you get what I'm trying to say? That's, that's how I look at it. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because at one point, I did become bitter and... Like, why ain't they, do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, why ain't I getting my, my, do you get what I'm trying to say? But it was like, I had to snap out of that because you just end up too clouded in it. How did you, you know snap out of that? Because I know there's I probably made, a lot. I just made more music. Okay. Just so went back to the booth. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Just went back to the booth. So, yeah, they, they came a point where mine was being bitter. and But nah, man, just make the music, let the music speak for itself. Because at the end of the day, you've only got yourself to blame, innit? Like, make a hit tune. Make a tune that people like, innit? <laughs> Do you get what I'm trying to say? It's not hard. Like, the avenues are there. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Make a tune that people like. Put it out. And that's it. That's how I looked at it. Like, forget all the bitter stuff and this, that, and the other. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, Mike, that's easy. <laughs> you lot don't even know how talented this guy is. Do you get what I'm trying to say? GL. GL, yeah, bro. Course, you course. must know. He, he taught me how to, um, you know, rap without writing and certain things, and I think someone like him, if he embraced it more, he'd, he'd, put, he'd get what he deserves out of this thing, sooner or later, do you get what I'm trying to say? So that's what I'm trying to do, just embrace the thing and see what um, God gives me out of it. You know what I mean? God gives me out of it, car. Lowski, that's like my bridging's son, do you get what I'm trying to say? So how can I not be proud of that? Do you get what I'm, we've made a way for the youth them to be able to do something, to get our money, to get noticed, to, you understand? To actually get out of the hood, Without having to lick out, like, you know, I don't even want to start, but trust me, we've made, yeah. Yeah, uh, no, obviously, speaking of being a pioneer, obviously, I'm around a lot of rappers a lot of the time, and I've been around a lot of um, North London rappers before, um, a bit younger than you, and they always speak very highly of the influence that your music had on them oh, yeah. um, growing up. Um, I want to talk about some moments that you've had uh, uh, an ex example would be you know make that journey for me that was a big moment Man. like on um, obviously <laughs> nowadays you've got YouTube and you've got other platforms Avenues. that kind of heighten 
how far songs could go. But yeah. I feel like make that journey, like even just on MySpace days, you know mm. what I mean? That was like, that was like such a hit. Yeah, that was mad still. That was such a hit. What was that time like for you? And was that, was that a true story or like, that, you know, give us some more that information time, on that, that one. That time for me was, it was great times, man. That was me. I was working with DJ One Step them times, you know, we was just in his yard in Peckham, just... Making just making hits, man. I remember me, him, free lion. I, I can remember that like it's yesterday, man. We made some good tunes up in there, man. Across the road from the from the police station, we made some good tunes in there. But that's yeah, where your studio most, was. Most of my t- huh? that where your was. He was in his was. yard. He was in his yard. Do you get what I'm trying to say? He was in his yard. One. Do you get what I'm trying to say? That's where that's where we was, and a lot of people used to record there. Them times. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So um, yeah, man. And most of the stuff around there. I would say, I would say my music is based on a true story, innit? Do you get what I'm trying to say? It's based on a true story. I can't own up to everything being truthful, car. I'm not trying to go to prison and Young Spray goes mad sometimes. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Young Spray's the artist. Me, I'm Leon Rivera. I'm both today, car, you're here to interview Young Spray, but let's not get it twisted. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, Young Spray goes mad. Spray's, um, Leon's cool. I don't do crime. No more, none of that. Do you get what I'm trying to say? My crimes are documented. Done my birds, that's it. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Now it's music. Skepta once said, um, you're not Skepta's my guy. Big up Skepta. Skepta once said that you're not certain if Young Spray hasn't hit you with the shower. Yeah, come on. With the shower emoji come on. on Instagram. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Come on, you know man bust that shower emoji. You know man, well, I'd even bust it, you know. My bridging bust it still, but I bust it on social media still. Like, I remember the first time I bred in Zag, big up Zag, free Zag, when, when he got an um, I, iPhone and all that, when he first got his little emoji, the man started sending me the showers. So I was like, oh, what, what, what are you dealing with? Like, shower, black, you get what I'm saying? So I just bust it on social media. And, do you get me? It just went platinum. But yeah. Yeah, I think Skepta's, I Skepta's, yeah, yeah, Skepta's yeah, yeah, my yeah. guy, man. Skepta's my guy. I'll be honest, he's Skepta, bruv. Like, he's one of the people that always, that always has shown me so much love in this thing. Do you get And he's tried with me. He's tried and I'm... I'm a, I'm a hard person to work with, do you get what I'm trying to say? But he's actually tried to work with me. He's brought me on shows. He's brought me to perform at Coco's. He's brought me to meet Kanye and all these people, do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, he's always tried with me, man. Posts my stuff, he supports me. So, yeah, man, that's my guy, man. Chip, family, someone man. you always collaborated with as yeah, well. Yeah, Chip, Chip's from the ends, man. Chip from business. We go back, do you get what I'm trying to say? We go back still. So, Chip's my guy, man. Obviously, you got Amen on 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 Invisible Tears. Amen. That was a, that was something that really made oh, me yeah, happy. Oh yeah, come on. Obviously, car skipped a big deal up in it. Yeah, of course, which really happy. You know, you're like getting the you're getting the big ups these getting days. the big plugs. <laughs> Who, else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, we got a little whoa, 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 whoa. We have got get Wiley. Yeah, there, there, there's come been loads. So I could do a little something with mine, you know. Simple. How did you go about? Oh, sorry, go on. Sorry. Yeah, but obviously you two coming together on that. Um, how did that happen? How did that track happen? Well, that track, I got a beat from a little young producer off my ends because I just take beats off whoever, to be honest. Like if it sounds good, I'll have it. So um, little um, guy from my end sent me some beats, cracks. He was like 19 at the time listening to the beats and I thought, right, this one's kind of wave, you know. So I'm listening to it, listening to it. Cause at that time, I'd already done most of the tracks for my album. I just needed features, innit? So I'm thinking, right, who can go on this? Who could go on this? For some reason, Skepta's voice has popped into my head. I thought, you know what, Skeps shouted him, sent him the beat. He was all for it. As soon as he heard it, he was like, good to go, come true. That's when he even showed me his talent, like, come true, boom, boom, boom. Me and him done that together. It was like, yeah, it was like, um, it's magic still. What what as a as a very um obviously you've got a very street sound to you mm. and you've been doing this for many years. Um who are the highlight kind of rappers right now that are doing it for you like on that level, like out of like the new school? Oh the new school? Yeah. Stormzy's guy mad I, I rate Stormzy, I respect Stormzy. Can I just before I go on to everybody else, can I just tell you why? Yeah. Can't. I believe if you do, if you've got this sort of, um, I don't know, the stage, the platform, the light shining on you, it's always good to stand for something, can it? Like not just all right, cool, we all do music, good lyrics, safe, but stand for something. Cause people I look, I take after is like Tupac and certain other people would like they stood for something. That's why Tupac's dead now, but people still beat in his rhythm and he stood for something. See, like someone like Storms, you can see he's standing for something, can it? The other day I was on Twitter. I don't really tweet no more, but I was on there and I think. 
Metropolitan Police must have said they found all these drugs before the um, Not Any Old Carnival. And I see he's at them like, oh, is it really? Why well, are you only doing this for black people's um, events? Because how much drugs did you find before Glastonbury? Do you get what I'm saying? And a lot of artists in that, um, with the spotlight on them, they'll be shook or, shall I, I don't want to rock the boat or, do you get what I'm trying to say? So little stuff like that, yeah. Anyway, Stormzy, rate that guy. Um, Big up Krypton Cordon, obviously the guy mad. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, Gigs, obviously, guy mad. Um, the normal Skepta, my guy. But as far as people I, I like and I listen to, you got Reaps his things out today, Clue. Like I listen to some gangster shit, man. You know what I'm saying? But... There's a lot coming out of the UK, Shaq Cole, Leon. I listen to, you got, there's a, I, I rate everyone, to be honest. Scraps, oh my gosh, Scraps, the ICE boys. You get what I'm saying? They've got a wave. Um, Northwest got a wave, to be fair. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Rattling, my guy. Um, free those going on with things. See him like his videos of gangsta, always toughing up his face. You see what I'm saying? So I rate all of that gangster shit to the screens. You get what I'm trying to say? So it's a good scene, man. What was your favourite album growing up? Because I know that you're just um, being around you and just a student of the game. I can mm. tell that like, you're a big hip-hop fan. I'm not sure if I had a favourite album, you know, but I had favourite albums. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Definitely Tupac. Do you get what I'm trying to say? All Eyes On Me, Biggie. Um, Ready To Die even. And Life After Death. Um, Snoop. You get what I'm trying to say? I was going to school listening to Snoop Doggy Star. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Um, DMX. Um, DMX bit. M Murder Music. Oh my gosh. R.I.P. P. R.I.P. Prodigy. Murder Music got me through a couple birds. Um, Nas, Illmatic. Stillmatic. I'm coming. I'm listening to the greats, B. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Um, Big Pun, Punisher. Fat Joe, like, man grew up listening to some real shit. Two, two, pack or, two pack or Biggie, you can only say one, no excuses. Yeah, two pack, I don't need no excuses. Two you pack. I'm trying to say? Yeah. Biggie's flows, innit? Like, yeah. Biggie's flows for days, yeah, lyrics yeah. for days, but yeah. two pack, like I said, he stood for something. Do you get what I'm trying to say? He stood for something. Mm. So that's what, that's what it is with me, is he's how he dealt with people and do you get what I'm trying to say? His mind state, his meds. Do you get what I'm trying to say? His meds, because sometimes... You could you could see two pack interviews. Guy is mad. He's drunk. He's saying madness. Then the next time he's saying, yeah, you know, I had to big up my single mothers. And he's like, do you get what I'm trying to say? But that's real life. Mm. And not every day you're in the same mood. So not every day you're in the same mood. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? This so that's real life. I can relate to that. Jay Z, yeah. Jay Z or Nas? Sorry, these are like typical hip hop arguments. Jay Z or Nas? I'm gonna have to say Nas because that's my gangster nigga. But I rate Jay Z as well. Car, you can't not rate Jay Z if that makes sense. Yeah. Like so. But I have to say Nas okay. just because of these meds, innit? Okay, like okay. I rate Nas as a more gangster you. But um, yeah, come on, you can't not rate Jay-Z. Jay-Z makes this P, he makes money B. <laughs> you know I'm trying to say. Well, what, you spoke about standing for something. Obviously, you've got your, your bandana around your, your, your flag. Um, so, um, Dominique, you're, the you're, from, the world. you're from Dominica. Yeah. Obviously, I know that the, the tragic events of no. late have affected you, and you actually went so far as to, to play a role in, in raising some relief funds. Yeah, we done it. We had a little fundraiser, me and my um, bad Jenna, OG. We had a little fundraiser. Um, my bridging's vape lounge. It went well. Can't ask for it. Like, everyone came out, donated. We've been going around collecting clothes and gonna you know send a barrel over it's bad over there man so we're just trying to help because as far as i'm concerned when i came off the plane here i made it do you get what i'm trying to say i was born and growing dominica so it's like when you're born and grown like this is somewhere the population is 70 000, 72 now i think so that's why we're so patriotic do you get what i'm trying to say if i see a dominica now they'll they do to suck off it they, they, they're gonna uh, that's how we are as a people do you get up? Because we know where we're coming from. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So if my people are suffering, it's hard. It's bad, for, it's bad for me to... I can't live with it. And the maddest thing is I hadn't been Dominica for like 20 years car. I was on some bitter thing with my dad or whatever, yeah? It's only when my mum moved back that I went back there. But I'm so happy I went back there because they're both dead now. And if I didn't go back there, I wouldn't have got back the connection from where I was born, where I was from. Like I've gone back there and 
how they dealt with me, like they accepted me as one real general, like, yo, book, like, do you get what I'm trying to say? Everyone, the love was, it's just mad, do you get what I'm, and you just know that's my people, do you get what I'm trying to say? That's my home. Yeah. Bare people like, blah, blah, blah. they're remembering me. I, was, I left there when I was like seven, but they're remembering me, don't lie, do you get what I'm trying to say? That's how, do you get what I'm saying? So, but yeah, it's a, it's a bad, they're going through it over there, man. Hurricane Maria, Master. My cousin's yard, like bare people's lost their things, man, and everything. So we're just trying to do anything to, um, yeah, help the cause. Man. Your parents were an important part of Dominica's history as well, when right? They was in politics and stuff. Well, not my mum, but my dad yeah. was. Yeah. My mum was a teacher. My mum used to work in um, what is it? social security over there. But they both had a, they both had their machine. You get what I'm saying? They both had their machine. Um, yeah, my dad was a politician, uh, minister of finance. Um, he opened the Bank of Dominica over there and all these things. You get me? My, my uncle, my dad's bridging, Patrick, Uncle, uncle Patrick, he was the first prime minister of the place. Do you get what I'm, I'm coming from good home, B. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But obviously, life leads you where life leads you. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So, but we got no complaints. Okay. Rest think, in peace. R.I.P. Right, right, mummy. R.I.P. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, mad. R.I.P. Right, daddy. R.I.P. Right, yeah, I think that that's something Invisible that people... Invisible tears. That people don't always expect, um, you know, kind of hearing hearing you speak about wanting to give back and hearing you actually be human. Because obviously, when we're hearing this, no, but when we're hearing that you're you're hard to be mute, are you hearing it? No, because you're you're hearing it now, ain't it? Yeah, wherever, man. I am human. Mr. Hard to Kill, you know, the the stories we've we've heard the stories, the Mm. streets have heard the stories. stories. Yeah, yeah this, don't believe everything. Though. Okay, okay. Well, this is the thing. You can't believe everything, yeah. but when when you're actually showing emotion, there, you're talking about you, 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 the fact. Mm. You know, people don't place you as as being in a, in a family unit as what's going. They wow. think you're out there raging the whole time. Wow. Spray, a hundred percent. That was going on. They, you know, they think that you're out I there don't. raging. I swear, I, I go around my. I, you know, I use link me a few times. You see, me, I just go chew. I don't think people are thinking. I don't come around moving hard. Do I come around moving hard? No, that's I, what I'm saying. I have you got a good spray story after this. Though. I don't come around moving mental. I lied over yeah, I don't come around in a screwed face. If you're I don't come up pushing you, know what I'm saying? Tape, yeah. That. And you mm. don't, you've never encountered you. You're mm. thinking it's mad. You're yeah. thinking, if I encounter spray, you know there's nothing just, but madness. You know what it is? When it's time to be serious, we're very, very serious people as far as me and my people are concerned. But you see what? Apart from that, we're lo- like, do you get what I'm trying to say? We're lovely people. You know most of us, Sam, so you know how we are. But this is what I'm saying. You know what it's, I'm nice, saying? it's nice to, to, for you to humanise yourself mm. and to show that, that there yeah. are those elements. Like, I've got a bridge and like, Smith, like, my man, he'll, he'll take everyone's youths and take them swimming and all that. But you wouldn't think, like, you think, rah, man, do you get what I'm saying? But that's what men are doing on another day. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So we're just real, we're just normal people. What's fatherhood like for you? you? A lot of people may not know that you're a dedicated father. Dedicated. Like, what, but father yeah, fatherhood's like? good, good, man. It's calmed me down. It's kept my feet grounded, kept me out of here, kept me out of prison. Obviously, just the other, well, not the other day, but the last case I took on, I was supposed to go to jail. They gave me, um, they gave me community, not community service, probation, two year order. And the judge was on the thing of, right, you've, you've changed your life. Like, I was like, huh? I've never heard this before. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, I've, I was just, I had my stuff, I, would, I had things cheeks than that. Do you get what I'm trying to I was ready to go down, but yeah. He was like, yeah, you know, like, your mentor now, you know, I've gone into um, prisons and spoken to kids and all that. It's like, you know, you've done well. And it seems like since you've had your kid, Carl, that's what, that's my, my criminal record actually shows that since I've had my kid, I've calmed down. It's not even a hoax. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Obviously music as well, definitely. But I owe it to music and my kid that I'm still out here and not ne- next door to a couple of my bridges. Smoking burn. So, um... Obviously now, hopefully you're here to stay like musically, like consistently well, for the next few years. I'm regardless anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Because I've stayed. So, <laughs> do you what, know what I'm saying? What do the fans, what should fans, like young Spray fans expect differently or, or, or should they expect the same? What should they, what should they look forward to over the next few years, um, ideally? Well, just, just look forward to me just putting out music. Like I've got, Obviously, Invisible Tears out now. HMV, iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, all of that, all of that. Um, get, my, get my records for the man named in jail, if you ain't got a tech. Amazon, um, yeah. Then I've got a Best of Spray, yeah. I've got a Best of Spray project, but that's like original tracks, isn't it? Like going dating back to like old eight and old, you know what I'm saying? Unreleased stuff. So I've got that in the pipeline. 
Then I got my next album in the pipeline. I've already got that title of it, man. We'll just work with Invisible Tears for now. I'm not even going to give you that title yet. Yeah, man, it's a great body of work. Mm. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. It's definitely um, a long time coming because I know you've been working on it for a while. So. so long, man. But a wise man once told me you can't rush greatness, man. And man, it's definitely great. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Trust me. Okay, yeah. so you, the, the video's out as well? Yeah, uh, Miss Mirror That's Miss Out. Miss That. Featuring Prez T. My guy, I've got a next video coming out soon. Hashtag winner, hashtag sinner. Because we're sinning whilst we're winning. Um, yeah. And I got a, we're going to do that thing with Blade. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to get that out on Graham Daily. We've got, just look forward to a lot of videos, a lot of... I got a show on the 28th in Grand in Grantham, Lincolnshire. Uh, me and Lowski gonna must up. Um, yeah, just look forward to me being me. Be and real um, quick, what's your favorite track of Invisible Tears? Invisible Tears. Tears. I I haven't got a favorite track. Honestly, I've, I, I I like it as a project because it's got different vibes in it. So I've got a couple gal tunes, couple like pain in it. It's Invisible Tears couple gangster tunes obviously snap component anything me and snap on is gonna be crazy so it's, it's different vibes in it for different moods so i like it as a um project and why the it's name like, it's like my um the name obviously because you can see i'm here I'm, i'll say whatever i could get emotional but i won't cry if that makes sense for some reason um but i think we all cry inside even when we're not crying if we, you get what I'm trying to say? We've all been through some mad stuff and people wouldn't know that by just walking past you. They wouldn't know what you've been through or what you've been through or what you've been through. So sometimes you can look into someone's eyes and see the invisible tears. So yeah, that was basically the name. I just thought, right, oh, sick name. And, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah, so I'm saying just it's a good name. Up using it. Yeah, it's it a good sense. name. What, yeah, how did, because um, you know what, some people have got slogans and statements and trademarks mm. that... Mm that a lot of people don't take to you, but I feel like RTM is just one of those things you can't escape for like the last yeah. however long it's come been. Come on, really the most. How did you come up Mr. with Mr. RTM. I keep it really the most. I know you're feeling it. <laughs> Jigger, man. Okay. Come on, I was a reasonable doubt. <laughs> Fan, do you get what I'm saying? I know every word you get what I'm saying in reasonable doubt. So I just had that in my head from years ago. When he said that, really the most, I keep it really the most. Like, really the most is... Wicked, you see what I'm saying? My my bridge in Jason Francis as well, like when we was in the Bing, like he had that tattoo from long time, really the most. Don't lie. That's hard. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, that's my thing. I'm, it's not your thing no more, Francis. It's mine. Really the most. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And I bust it. Big up my Jenna. What happened to the t-shirts of them? Um, the t-shirts basically they still the, the website is still there okay it's still like people some people buy it still and I send it off but basically with that I was waiting for this to come out that's the maddest thing I just went I was doing too much of two things mm. and a wise man told me you know what you can't chase two rabbits you won't catch none of them chase one and you, you might catch that one rabbit so it's like I realised let me just do this music thing sort out this album and then I can relaunch the thing get some better clothes or some do you get what I'm saying mm-hmm. and, do the merch because it is so, it's very well sought after. All right, then. And lastly, you saw the um, actually, let me not even ask that. I was about some go on, go on. You saw the um, you saw the no, I wasn't nervous, yeah, so I just didn't know whether to go there. But okay. you saw the um, the <laughs> recent tweets with um, Dizzy and Wiley. I didn't, you know, oh, you didn't I see missed them. it. Did they, did they delete it? I don't know, I'm not too sure. It. I did miss it, but I saw obviously, I knew about it. Obviously, you've been around like. Around near them times too, like what? What's your near them times? I've been around from maybe not musically. I'm getting mad. Yeah, yeah. Musically, I am losing myself. That's what I'm thinking, blood. I've been here from jungle, bro. But yeah, yeah. What's your take on it? Do you have? Do you think that situation could ever be resolved? Well, I I wouldn't know because I'm not around them. I don't know how they feel it. How, how deep their feelings go. But I know they're both very influential to the scene. They're both very talented. Like I used to go mad. At, um, you know, like back in the day, like the grime days and all that. Stop that, stop that, get that. Like Dizzy's guy mad. You get what I'm trying to say? But Wiley, don't don't um, underestimate Wiley's influence to this thing as well. You get what I'm trying to say? As far, Wiley's been there before um, Dizzy. That's fact. Yeah, that's 100% fact, yeah? Because I was, I, I, know, I know Wiley from Rinse FM, Jungle Days, and Maxwell and them, from when their man they were spitting Jungle. So Wiley's been in the scene from the get-go, so... As far as I'm concerned, just have respect for each other. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Don't make it get too serious or 
man start saying too much madness. Don't incriminate yourself. Don't ever tell anyone you're going to kill them in a tweet because imagine you have to kill that person. No, I'm joking. But, <laughs> but just don't, you get what I'm saying? Don't incriminate yourself. Just because you have to be very careful and be aware that everyone's watching down to the kids, down to... So we don't want to promote that side of things. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, the music's the music. Don't get me wrong. It's all nice, the little beefs and Chip and Young and then Chip and... Um, what's his name? Um, I want to say Bugsy. Bugsy. But... Chips and Bugsy. But I'll be honest with you, fam. I was, I, I, was, I was upset about that a bit because he come on the corner, innit? Do you get what I'm trying to say? But after speaking to my guy up there, what knows him, my big brother, Pat, big up Pat, you know, he broke it down to me and I just said to him, blood, like, this music thing, this music thing, but don't make man think they can come down on the corner and do little videos and all that. Because there's youths out there, they're crazy, they're crazy. We from Tottenham, me. Like, there's crazy guys down there. That's why you had the youth rage go up straight up there to Moss, Moss side. He don't even know my man's not from Moss side. My guys are from Moss side. They thought to me, yo, fam, how's your brother? I said, my man, I'm saying, no, nah, fam, he didn't know. So we got to be careful what we do as well. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But... Big up Bugsy. I linked Bugsy the other day when I went up to Chip Pat. He's, he's, a, he's a very nice guy. Lovely fella. Um, obviously, the beef with him and Chip, I would always stand with Chip Car. He's from that corner, really. But it's just, let's just keep it music, man. You get what I'm saying? Bugsy's a very talented guy, man. Do you get what I'm saying? Chip's a very talented guy, man. I feel like you're someone that doesn't hold back. You've never really held back, like... Of course you, not. So, yeah, so do you... Mm. You don't censor yourself, though, when you're... When you go into the booth? No. Recently, there's been a little bit of censoring as of such, depending on what tune I'm doing. Yeah, so yeah, if yeah. I know I'm going to do this tune for radio, I'm not going to start saying mad stuff. Do you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Because obviously, I'm intellectual enough to know that radio ain't going to play that. Even though they're playing the kids' stuff, mm. when they say mad stuff, my stuff, I don't know, for some reason, they believe my thing and don't play my thing. I yeah, think mom, do you know what I'm saying? So I might as well not. I might as well just come on a di different um, wave. I think what Viz was trying to get at before was that. Mm. Do you tell yourself the same thing yeah. sometimes? Do you tell yourself, you know what, this is just music when you're, you know, in course, that zone? Of course, you know what, blood? See, if you took uh, um, everything serious, yeah, or certain, see like even YouTube comments or enough liquor things, but if you took it serious, bruv, as, as someone that's on the pavement or whatever, you'd have to, you go to jail, you, you go out, you, you'd have to, you might as well kill everyone. Do you get what I'm saying, car? Otherwise, you're just going to be, a, you're going to be an emotional wreck. People say the, nastiest things on, on the internet, the nastiest things to humankind you will see on the internet. You have to, you have to just not even listen to it. Even some, or, I don't know, sometimes if you hear a lyric and you think, oh, is that about me? So what? Who cares? Because when you see that person, they're spudding you or they'll like your picture tomorrow. So it's music, isn't it? Do you get what I'm trying to say? It makes no difference to me. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Don't get me wrong. I hear certain things and I think, raw, don't lie. When did you become bad? Or do you get what I'm trying to say? But I won't. Now put a little comment on it or do you get what I'm trying to say or think? Cause when I see you so love, you're spudding me, you're liking my pics, so it's cool. Like, do you get what I'm trying to say? It's music, it's music, bro. Were you ever you a fan of Graham? Of course. Yeah? Who's your who's your favourite Graham MC ever then? It's me, me, it's who? Come <laughs> like, yeah. on, fam. Double, yeah? So Man, I... <laughs> that, that was too <laughs> crazy for me. Napa days. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he can't go, he can't go. Yeah, D-double, man. Dizzy, Wiley, just the, the greatest man. R.I.P. Major, Ace, fuck, you know. Ace yeah, used to go mad. Ace used to go mad, God's gift. I'm, I'm, with, I'm with that era, man. More fire, leave, like, oi, who's that? Like, them man, them man, they bring me to my first show. Do you get what I'm trying to say? A lot of people wouldn't know that. More fire. Of course. Yeah. Not, you remember, and Leaf were from the same area, right? Leaf, we used to go to my um, secondary school, Maxwell. And Ozzy B, they was in my secondary school, a couple of years younger than me. They all vouch for me and make you know, bad people. You understand? So, they, that, that's, I've, I know these lot from kids growing up. Do you get what I'm saying? So, I've seen, like I've seen the whole come up. You understand? And yeah, Max, so you, you have to be proud of someone like that, man. Because he's from, he's from the streets. I can vouch for him, man. That, that, that nigga from, he, he from my, he from my black, man. So, to see him make it where he's made it to, it's inspirational. Well done, Max. Um, yeah, man. They know me, man. Big up, man. Definitely. All right, Wicked, man. Go get the album. Invisible, Invisible Tears. Tears. Out now. Are you going to add to Hard to Kill and Really the Most, that series there? Possibly. Okay. But if I do it... Uh, it's got to be it's, mad. It's just got to be original beats. Producers, get at me. Say no more.
Thank spray. you, Spray. Invisible the people wanted it. Respect, respect for coming in, bro. Done, respect, bro. Always a pleasure. Trust I know me. you wanted to say more, man. <laughs> 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 don't leave me hanging. Hashtag, Hashtag NFTR. NFTR.